What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey guys, how's it going? I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, if any of you seen the movie Seven Sins, then you probably might have got a kick out of that. If not, then you probably think I'm uh, um, a little goofy. But anyways, so anyways, um, the reason why this video is what's in the box for one, I'm holding a box, but this box contains the incredibly wonderful, amazing, and generous piff that I got from Johnny Palma. But before I get into that, I would like to go ahead and welcome a new subscriber who subscribed uh, sh shortly after I posted the last video, Sneak Peek Shave, where I shaved with an aristocrat, which was part of this piff, um, which my brother is borrowing. So if you haven't seen that video, you can go back and check it out and get a look at the aristocrat. It's a 1940s, gives absolutely incredible shaves. I really like that razor. But anyways... Uh, so let's go ahead and get on to the contents of this box. But before I do that, uh, quick story about that. I was kicking back on my couch, watching TV, drinking coffee, waiting to go see a doctor. And, uh, there's a knock at my door. And it's the mailman with this box. And I opened it, and I was absolutely floored when I started going through the box. So, let's go ahead and let's show y'all what came in the box. First thing I'll show you is this bag. Uh, lovely bag, and oh, by the way, the packaging that Johnny put um, in this box was just, I mean, it was definitely, the items were wrapped with care. But the first one, it, this all vintage blades got these. I have no idea what these blades are, but I got these. Got these. This, which is, the tuck is empty, but, you know. Got these. these. Um, Johnny told me that all these blades are vintage and they're just blades that he had picked up in anticipation of sets he was going to be um, putting together and completing. So vintage blades are always cool. So let's set that right. Hell with it. We'll put it here in this middle drawer. The next item is one that is just for me a display piece. And it's this one. This head is a really nice Gillette Tech head with Gillette engraved in the top. My girlfriend and I says that it looks like somebody took a knife, like from a fancy cutlery set, and made a handle out of it. I mean, it looks kind of like a cutlery knife. And we haven't had a chance to clean this one up yet. And they did all this work on it. Johnny said that he saw one on eBay. Um, another one. But he wasn't able to get any info on it. So, you know. I don't know if that's one that Gillette ever made for a special set or whatever. Um, if any of you out there know, uh, let me know in the comments. But, uh... You know, it's just a real, kind of a cool, ornate display piece. My girlfriend really, really likes it. The next one is, I ended up getting two of them. This is the American version. This is a Gillette New Long Um, And he included the British version, Gillette New Long Um, I don't think 
that this is the original handle because my girlfriend saw a date of 1920, I believe, on it. But this handle was actually off my Gillette Ball in Tech from the 40s. And I ended up, because I got these razors, ended up sending my friend Christian out in Hesperia. He's always wanted a Ball in Tech and he only had you know a few razors, so I sent him the Ball in Tech. Well, I took the handle off this one and swapped it for this one because, you know, um, I wasn't able to tell the American from the British. I wasn't able to tell them apart. So instead of grabbing one and running to my girlfriend and saying, hey, babe, which one is this? You know, I could just know by a feel. The next one is this. The Apollo Slant. Um, has a rib, nice ribbed handle. Now, this is a three piece. Now, I saw one video uh, by a fellow, uh, Sumner Jimenez. Um, he had an Apollo Slant. They ended up breaking the top cap on and he went ahead and took one off of a rebranded 37C uh, which is made by Mercor if you're not familiar with that razor and it worked now this down here in the bottom between the blade pins and the center post hole there's like a hole on each side where it looks like rivets once was. So I don't know, maybe the person who had this razor in the past damaged the handle and just real gently removed it and got this handle and put on it. Or maybe this was the original handle, but you know, the Apollo Slant video I saw, it was a two piece and this one is a three piece. So. Um, once again, if any of you out there know, let me know in the comments. The next one is this. This is a 1967 first quarter, or third quarter, Gillette Knack. Um, nice texture to this handle. I've already used this one. I've used the Apollo Slant, and I've used one of the News, um, and I used one other razor out of here. But, I mean, this gives a really nice shave. This is a wonderful head shaving razor. I really got a great head shave off this. But this is a 67 third quarter. And he also sent me its cousin from across the pond, the 1967 first quarter English Knack. Um, it just opens and closes so smooth. Um, I plan on doing some comparison videos with the news and with these to see like, you know, America versus England type thing. But this here doesn't have the same texturing to the handle. It's got vertical lines, and the knobs are a little different. The TTO knobs on the neck, they're a little different, but really, really cool razor. So I'm very happy to have a couple of knacks. The next razor is a 1956 Gillette Blue Tip. Um, Johnny and I spoke in the past and I told him that I was, you know, really interested in getting all the tips, the red tip, the blue tip, the black tip, the flare tip, which I already had a flare tip, so I was happy about that. Well, he ended up sending me this one. He remembered that, sent me that one. And he also sent me this one. The 1956 Gillette Red Tip. This razor, I've used it. It gives really, really nice shaves. 
Um, Johnny does want to see a video, see some videos comparing the blue, the red, and the flare tip to a fat boy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do three videos. One, one with the blue tip versus fat boy, running the fat boy from settings three, two, on three, two, and one on one side and the blue tip on the other. Then a video of flare tip on one side and the fat boy on six five four and then one with this boy with this bad boy the red tip versus the the fat boy with the fat boy nine eight seven but this will real i love the way this razor feels the texture of it it's just i'm a texture guy because i'm blind and the texture of the handle is just really really cool the weight of it's really nice i really enjoyed shaving with this um so, that's it on the razors that are not sets. Yes, he sent me sets as well. Oh. So, the first set is this one. Some of you might recognize this, some of you might not. This is a U.S. Army issue Gillette khaki set. Um... I don't know if this is the razor that came with it. I imagine probably it is, but it's got the same ball and type handle that the news had or have. Um, but, you know, and it's pretty beat up, you know. It, it looks like, well, let's pull this out. I mean, the razor, it's its kind of beat up, and, and the case is definitely beat up. The case definitely looks like it's been in war. Um, there we go. Old type head. Open comb. I have shaved with a head, one of these heads before, and they give a great shave. But, uh, yeah, so... That, it's, it's just a display piece for me. Um, because I don't want to... You know, uh, I don't want to go ahead and uh, have a nice shiny razor and uh, a beat up case, you know, that look kind of odd. So I'm just going to use this display piece. Got another display piece here. And this is a really nice leather case. Bam! A new long comb. This is another American new long comb. But it came with the razor and the little metal blade tin with which still has a blade in it so or a blade bank and it still has a blade in it so that's a nice little display piece right there Let me put this uh, put this back in here The next one is this one right here. Some of you might recognize the case, some of you might not. But this is a full, complete set of a 62 second quarter slim adjustable. It has the paper, it has the blades, or the little little paper booklet that has that tells you how to use your razor, your adjustable. And it tells you things like, you know, thrust your blade into the razor and blah, blah, blah. But I've always wanted a slim and I've been wanting slim adjustable for a while. I was just absolutely stoked to get that one. And I, I'm absolutely stoked to have every single one of these razors, but that one I really got excited over. And then this one here, it does not have the paper, the, the instructions, but it does have the original blades and it's this. A 1975, I forget which quarter, 
but a 75 black handle super speed. This razor is in incredible shape. It's got a few little little scratches up in the head from what my girlfriend said. But overall, the razor looks practically brand spanking new. This razor, I had a 67 black handle, 67 third quarter black handle. So I ended up giving it to my brother because he only has a couple of razors. And I ended up giving him it. It's his, you know, the black handle I gave him made it his first vintage. And this will be not only my son's first vintage, but this will be his first razor. Um, so, you know, I, uh, and as you can see, original blades. But, so yeah, this one is definitely going to stay packed away. And that's going to be my son's first razor. Um, you know, it'll be a great razor to start with. But yeah, so anyways, that is what's in the box. Anyhow, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, I plan on my next video. I'll be filming probably tonight because I've got a couple of days growth. I'll film that with me using that slim adjustable and we'll see how it does and uh, I'll post that you know a couple of days down the road anyways um, yeah if you like this video and you're not a subs subscriber please go ahead and click that subscribe button um, you can click the bell icon to be notified of whenever I'm release any new content uh, likes comments those are always appreciated I always try and respond when somebody comments on any of my videos and uh, and if you subscribe to my channel and I haven't mentioned you it's uh, because uh, sometimes I get a notification sometimes I don't um, so if I haven't mentioned you, then go ahead and, you know, shoot me an email at justlance, all lowercase, justlance59 at gmail.com. Or if you have any questions for me whatsoever, you can contact me at that email address. Um, anyways, I hope you all have been doing all right. Everybody, go ahead, take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.